Hello everyone, this is Dr. Vishal Gewali again. And I have been uh, getting some questions from some of you about uh, you know, how to do research, how to do medical research well, uh, how to get your foot into the door uh, with regards to medical research and publications. And these are all important questions and I appreciate these questions. And, uh, but answering these questions will take uh, some time and preparation, which I hope to do in uh, coming days. But for now, if you want to know what the journey looks like and what the type of medical research is or what the type of medical publications are and how how I started with uh, with nothing in terms of academic research um, and how I reached uh, where I am today. Uh, if you want to get a snapshot of a journey, then I think uh, I have a number of videos in my YouTube channel, which might be uh, helpful to you. The most important of which should be the talk that I recently gave at uh, Nepal Health Research Council. I'll provide the link to that YouTube video uh, in the description of this uh, video later. Um, but I think if you watch it, uh, it will be helpful. Um, one other question that I received uh, is about uh, the importance of uh, studying abroad. Um, and I think, uh, you know, there are no hard and fast rules here, but I think uh, studying in a, in a different environment is really helpful to broaden your horizon, uh, to broaden your understanding of, of the disease, of the, of the medical infrastructure, of uh, patient's perception of the illness. I have written several uh, articles about this, uh, especially in my field of oncology, how breaking bad news is, is so different in a Nepali context versus uh, the context in, in Japan, in the West, uh, and how, uh, you know, just uh, being exposed to a new environment, to a new hospital setting, um, broadens your horizon, broadens your understanding, uh, and makes you more humble, I guess. Uh, uh, we can see that we, there are so many medical doctors who come to Nepal to, to get an understanding of the, of the scenario of, of the medical context in Nepal, because that will help their understanding of, of uh, the differences in, in the quality of care between uh, different countries. The same is true for us. Uh, we go to other countries like Japan or the US or Canada, and we see how healthcare system is working in these countries. That will, that will teach us uh, a number of things that we cannot learn from textbooks. Um, so I think it's always a good idea if you get opportunity, even if it's for a month, for three months, for a year, uh, to at least expose yourself uh, to a different healthcare system. Uh, and that is a challenging and a rewarding experience. And I'm, I'm certain that you'll gain a lot by doing that, uh, that you could not have otherwise gained. Um, that obviously does not mean that people who don't go abroad are, are, are not uh, insightful or, or, or they do not have uh, the same level of expertise. No, I don't mean to say that. Uh, but if you get a chance, if you get an opportunity to get some exposure, even if for a short duration, um, in a healthcare system that is not your own, uh, then I think uh, it provides some some meaningful benefits for your career. Um, I have a couple of uh, articles that I have written about this experience, which I'll I'll share in the description below, in case it is useful. Take care. See you in another video.